Welcome back. It has been a little while. I have missed you guys. I've been spending a lot of time photographing and videoing cocktail tutorials. I just posted one about how to make a scorpion bowl. Scorpion bowl is one of those big bowls of um, what's in there? Lime, orange juice, and then like six ounces of rum. It's like a, it will get you, but it's supposed to be drinking communally. It's supposed to be drinking communally. Is that how you say it? Yeah. It's a communal drink. So drink one of these by yourself. You will be in trouble. Uh, drink it with some friends and it's a good time. So if you want to see that video, I will link that below. And then um, I've been shooting a lot of interviews with my friends. I wanted to do this seven questions and a cocktail thing. My friend Yukalena recorded the theme song. And then I actually, I interviewed her. I interviewed world famous bartender, Disneyland bartender from Trader Sam's, Kelly Merrill. Uh, and then I interviewed the people who own the record label that my band is on, uh, Vincent Magda of High Tide Recordings. So all of those are interesting kind of long form interviews. If you're interested in them, uh, they are in my, they're in my profile, so you can find them. So the opportunity arrived to go to Palm Springs. It's my buddy Rick Miller's birthday. Our buddy McBiff, great Disney artist and tiki artist will be out there. My hair and makeup artist, Liz Carrillo, will, will be joining us. Should be a lot of fun. But I figured that since I'm going out there, maybe I can get one of my model friends to join me and uh, shoot some really cool mid-century kind of stuff. I've spent a ton of time in Palm Springs. My band has performed out there a bajillion times. And actually, we're going to be staying at the Caliente Tropics, which was built in 1965 by Ken Kimes. Well, it was owned by Ken Kimes. Uh, that doesn't matter. It's starting to get into the nuances of, of tiki stuff that gets kind of nerdy. So I invited my model friend, Kelly Kathleen, to join us in Palm Springs. And we've only worked together once before, but we got the cover of Viva Las Vegas' program and the cover of Viva Las Vegas' compilation CD. So I think we work really well together. I think she has a very distinctive vintage look about her. And I don't, for some reason, I don't think it's just her makeup. I think it's like, I don't know, her facial structure or something. Super pretty, super fun to hang out with. So I'm excited to spend some time with her and take some pictures. Um, what we're gonna be doing is just driving around the neighborhoods of Palm Springs. The whole city is a set for photos. It's incredible. And it's right, I think it's right before Modernism Week. So it's not gonna be a lot of traffic like that. It's at the tail end of summer. We're getting into October now. Um, although I heard it was gonna be 96 today, so there may be some sweating. Uh, that's so hot. Anyway, so I've done this in the past. I've done this with Ginger Watson. I've done this with Haley Holiday. I've done this with uh, Johanna Belair. It's really fun. And then party time that night with, uh, with Rick and Liz and McBiff. It'll be a good time. We're going to the Tonga Hut. So maybe we'll take you along for a little bit of that as well. Otherwise, uh, let's go to Palm Springs. La, la, la. Okay, so I forgot to mention that before we go to Palm Springs, I just won a 1929 four string tenor guitar, that's a Martin, on an estate sale website. So I gotta go pick that up. So let's go get that first, then Palm Springs. All right. Okay, my intention was not to turn this into like a guitar vlog. But man, this is a 1929 Martin tenor guitar. Apparently there were only about 31 of these things made. And Martin is like the acoustic guitar company. So doesn't look like much here, but 
Uh, hopefully I can turn it into a big profit. All right, Palm Springs, let's go. Everybody in, in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s lived here and, and had something to do with this place down here. Every time I come in here, I just, uh, it all looks the same-ish. <laughs> and I mean that in a very uh, positive way. Do you see what I mean? Like a lot of the buildings haven't changed since the 1960s. It's so nice that there's an area that appreciate, well, <laughs> not over here. But it's so nice that there's an area that appreciates the history in the architecture and just how much more aesthetically pleasing that whole era is than it is today. I just don't understand modern, modern architecture. No, I mean, I, I do understand it. I understand it because I know that it's expedient and it's cheap. And uh, thank God for places like Palm Springs, parts of downtown LA, um, Long Beach. A lot of neighborhoods still hang on to that aesthetic, and it's nice. This Desert Lodge, A-Frame. It's funny because A-Frame usually think Tiki, but it's not. And then on the left here, Music Land. Kind of this modular looking, <laughs> cool building. We're going to uh, the foremost incredible remaining Tiki Motel. Right here, see that? The Caliente Tropics. So this is the hotel room at the Caliente Tropics Hotel. I've already moved in the important stuff, like the guitar that we bought earlier, and a fancy hat, and hey dude, gear bag, other camera, and batteries are charging. So now we just wait for Kelly, and then we'll get to shooting. But man, isn't it pretty out there? Ooh, let's go to this one. So while I was waiting for it, I decided to get the tenor guitar out, and I already broke a string. Turns out I don't know how to tune, like, 70 year old very valuable guitars but i think i can rig it so i can fix it i think okay i think i fixed it ah! okay i think i fixed it again An actual human color. That's <laughs> odd. Yeah, the warmth to your skin, incredible. Yeah, it's so odd. Mm. Not the typical vampiric. Yeah. I think that came out so good, though. Yeah. This is wonderful. So, what'd you bring? I brought um, this bodysuit. Ooh. Cool, mm -hmm. cool. Gloves. Cool. More gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Were you guys able to drive around at all today and like um, see stuff or um, have you seen anything? Yeah, a little bit. We went to, we just went to Native Foods and then I was telling her about that really cute, 
um, Elvis Presley house, mm -hmm. the little honeymoon one. Have you seen it? I've been there once. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been there once, yeah. but um, didn't get to go inside. I think you can go inside, right? Like, you, if you pay. Usually, I think I went on like, Christmas or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cool tour. I've seen pictures and stuff inside. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know kind of what the plan is as far as outfits. I think we're just going to kind of drive and see what we see. And if yeah. inspiration hits or whatever, then we'll um, we'll shoot there. Sounds good. Got this cool suit. This one's nice. Sounds good. Got this cool leopard print dress or something like that. Mm -hmm. And by dress, I mean swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. My mom sent me a bunch of like vintage jewelry from Canada recently. Canadian jewelry. Yeah, there's this um, artist, uh, last name Sherman, and he mm -hmm. did a lot of really cool pieces in the 1950s. She found a bunch of them that I really like his work. Cool. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna put music in the background during this? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna have you uncomfortably quiet. <laughs> How do you know? Well, I have an impeccable sense of direction. Yeah. So that's one, and I've been here before. Um, and because it's right behind us. Good point. All Very right. Good point. We're gonna shoot at Elvis's honeymoon hideaway. Outside, anyway. All right, let's go. Okay, we're going into Elvis's front patio here. Usually, this is closed off to the public. Crazy spider. It's coming right. 
I'm not really feeling this pose. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, ready? so a little bit in the shade's okay, right? Yeah, it's better. And then love that. So, what'd you think about the Elvis honeymoon hideaway? And I just turned on my Elvis. wipers. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mean to? That was all part of your plan. It's part of my plan. No? What'd you think of the Elvis honeymoon hideaway? I loved it. It was really great. Super mm. nice there. Think you'd like to stay there sometime? I mean, can you? No, you can't. We went driving after that and we found another location. And this will be the next spot. And hopefully we'll do it without them coming out and telling us to beat it. So, ready? Get the bricks, kid. Yep. Let's do it. Okay, so, second location. Beautiful mid-century place that I hope to one day afford. I've shot here before. No, we're just gonna go over to this green zone over here. Cool. But I thought that with your sunglasses, we can get some reflections of the sky. Since the sky is so blue and pretty, and there's palm trees. Yeah, it's really pretty. And Palm Springs. <laughs> go, go that way, please. Wow, this is wild. Is that a bank wrap? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fantastic. But who wants to water grass in the desert? <laughs> Let's go right here. With all that. Is there a way to get your face more in the sun? Do you need to get on my back or? I'll just take okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be overdosing on vitamin D. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> I feel that. Alright, so we found another location. Mm -hmm. And it's like a textured wall from the 60s. And we're gonna shoot the last set of photos, I guess, in this yeah. outfit. That's true. Right? Yes. Okay, let's go do that. Okay. Next outfit. You hanging in here? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> that is a tiny car. All right, we're gonna do the next outfit, and hopefully she can change this tiny car that I have. But it'll be worth it. This is this was Telly Sabalas' house. Telly Sabalas was a big actor in the 1970s, 70s maybe. Maybe. Obviously, I don't know who he was either. <laughs> but we're gonna shoot at his like, rad I house. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Bring the shadow down 
just a hit. Yep, right there. All right, I think we're done. We're gonna maybe try and take a couple other photos, but as far as our shoot today goes, I think that we we're finished. I think so. Good job. Thanks, you too. Thanks. Um, <laughs> now, Trader Sam's, not Trader Sam's. <laughs> you wanna go to Anaheim? Let's go to Anaheim. <laughs> now the Tonga Hut? Mm -hmm. And maybe the swimming pool for a minute. Yes. Okay. All right. Celebrate Reiki. Yep, Rick's birthday. All right, it's time to go party. There's such a hype over this year. There isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> totally is. Now we're partying with Rick Miller, even though he's not here. Yeah, I got a call him right now. But we're Party in we're in the secret room we'll at the Tonga Hut hey. after our shoot. All right, they just gave us a room, just to let you know. It's Rick's birthday, and he's still us up. Oh, happy birthday, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs>